Hey, what's going on YouTube? How are ya? Hi, good Dave here. I hope everyone's doing well. We just had a fresh snowfall uh, last night. A little, a little wimpy nor'easter came and hit us. And well, I, well, it probably wasn't wimpy driving in it, but I was home from work by the time it hit. So, but I come out here today. Uh, I love coming out when there's fresh snow. I think fresh snow is is a perfect time to get some fresh prints. If you had said that to me a couple of years ago, I would have said you were plumb crazy. But I have found uh, prints in the snow before, what I believe to be possibly Sasquatch prints. They may or may not be, guys, but I feel like they, that they might have been. They were pretty convincing looking. It was, um, they were small prints, but pretty convincing nonetheless. I, the way I look, was looking at it, it's tough to say. Oh, I'm back on the main trail. Okay. It's hard to say, uh, you know, there's no, there's no book to go to. You can't refer, uh, find a print in the ground and, and then look up, uh, Bigfoot species of North America and see if the print matches. <laughs> I wish there was, but. So I, I come out here. There's not a lot of people out here because of the we have really crappy weather, but I can see prints. So at least one person has come in and come out and gone out. Really nice and crisp weather today. It's actually, uh, I believe, whoa. I believe it's above freezing right now. Uh, I'm bundled up, definitely bundled up, just because of the when the wind picks up. Especially I'm following this little canal here. The wind picks up and it's it's freezing. It feels like it's freezing. It's really not that cold. I would say it's probably in the, the upper 30s. But really comfortable for hiking. And I wanted to take you guys with me on my uh, on my snow hike. Again, I like to look, I like, I, I really like it when it snows, fresh snow. You can really kind of get a gauge of what's in the area. Um, you know, any kind of print, dog prints, rabbit, you know, you can see all kinds of little prints all over the place. I like that. And including, uh, you know, potential Bigfoot prints. Over uh, MK Davis, this guy. I'm starting to look a little into his stuff, and uh, I'm like looking for his channel, like an MK Davis channel. And I did find one, but it has like two videos on it, and it's not at all related to Sasquatch. I don't know. I'm probably not looking in the right place, uh, but I see a lot of video breakdown. Uh, uh, with MK Davis narrating the breakdown and stuff and he does an awesome job and I you guys already know all about it I'm, I'm fairly new to the subject only a couple of years now if that so there's so much yet that I have to that I've got to learn and so much that I have you know that I want to research and look into and MK Davis is one of those one of those subjects that I'd like to see more just you know Get, get get more into watching some of his video breakdowns and stuff. Really interesting stuff. My hands are freezing. I think I might stop and light up a little fire block to warm the hands up. Really, really quiet out here today, except for the geese. I've heard the geese. Other than that, really just silent when the wind dies down. It's just nothing. I took the uh, the case off of my phone while I'm recording out here. I think that that had something to do with um, with the water sounds, that the really weird audio that would come up on my videos sometimes. And it would sound just all of a sudden like I was walking next to a babbling brook. When really there was no water around me, and I and people, you know, were commenting, "Dave, what's up with you? You know, what's up with your audio?" And 
I thought maybe I was cupping my hand over the microphone and I think I do a little bit of that anyways. The phone is right on the back. Uh, the microphone's on the back of the phone. So as I'm holding it, it's a video. I think sometimes I cover it. I've come out to this particular area. I've only been way out here once. And I found like a really awesome waterfall. And I'm hoping that this is the trail. It's like, uh, it kind of ends in like this big industrial area type. And uh, there's this huge waterfall with this old, really old building across the, across the way. It's just kind of neat. You can kind of feel how old the area is. Oh, I am on the right trail. Okay, this building is really odd out in the middle of kind of nowhere. Let me show it to you guys. My fingers are cold. A little bit of a spooky abandoned little concrete building here. Yeah, a little strange building. I don't know what this used to be, but... Oh, this is a little bit strange in here. This is a lot a bit strange. Okay, well, that's just weirdness. I'll leave that building be. Oh, there's an old car over there too. That's right, I remember that. An old jalopy. Just wasting away with time, right? Mother Nature will claim that eventually and it'll be gone. Okay, I'm getting off, off track where I want to be. Really strange spot, huh? I, I really, really appreciate the, the, these people that have the channels where they break stuff down. It's uh, because I don't have, I don't have the, the resources to do something like that. Or, you know, I, I think I've said before, even if I had the best equipment out there, I still would, don't have the know-how, you know. And I think it's important that there is a... Um, a handful of people out there that break these videos down. I think without that, um, without somebody really critiquing and and filtering out uh, background noise and things like this, that without that, I mean, how, how do we know what the heck is going on, right? <clears throat> Excuse me. So to have these channels, like Bigfoot Tony, hopefully he's coming back, I hope he didn't retire. And uh, MK Davis, and, and there are others I can't think of offhand right now that break these videos down that are so important, I think, for, for us, uh, for those of us that just are intrigued by the possibility. Or, you know, I, I believe Sasquatch completely is, is a real thing. So for me, especially, it's important to have somebody out there that can kind of filter out the tomfoolery and uh, and the jackassery making fake uh, hoax videos. And then you've got somebody out there or those out there that can, that can break down videos. So we're not left with, you know, left to our, on our own, You're just watching these videos in real time or, or you know what I mean? I don't have the capability, capability to you know, slow videos down and filter out noise and filter out this and that. And so I, I'm thankful for these uh, these channels that have that have these uh, videos, these breakdown videos. 
there's kind of an eeriness to uh, the first snow and how quiet it is. And um, I mean, obviously, there's been people out here. There has been people out here. That's a weird looking tracks, huh? It's a strange looking. There, there is, you know, people that have come out here. Obviously, I'm seeing their tracks. Oh, now there's a little trail there that no one's been down. I think I might could like to, uh, I'm going to come back to that for sure. I want to come up here and I hope this is the trail that leads me to the waterfall. It's really a nice spot. Um, it's in the middle of like an industrial type or across the way, like I was saying, from this waterfall. It's like uh, kind of like this old time, you know, from the 1900s, big industrial building. Hmm. Uh, imagine at the top of a sapling, broken off. Where's its home? I bet you. Yep, look at that. Yeah, so the top of that sapling has been broken off. Ripped off. And I'm going to say that this is it right here. This is the top of the sapling. Here. And it's been broken off that tree and tossed over here. Now, listen, guys. I know that things happen, the wind... I'm going to tell you, in order for that to be broken off by hand, you either climb it, and I don't see broken limbs, or you're tall enough to reach the top of that tree. Uh, that, that break is probably about 10 feet up. Interesting, huh? That's strange. Okay, this video is running a little bit long. My curiosity is killing me. I want to check out that trail. There's um, a lot of sign out here in this area that I kind of, when I walked, when I hiked through here before, I kind of just muscled through everything, and I, I didn't do a ton of, uh, like, slow hiking like I, like I do. I like to do that from time to time where I'll hike somewhere, and I'll go really slow. And I do remember last time I hiked out back here, I was kind of booking it, you know what I mean? I was I was moving along and my fingers are freezing. Where's that trail? I think I saw thought I just saw somebody down there. I appreciate you guys coming out with me today and taking the time, a few minutes out of your day to tag along with me. Oh. Jeez, what's up with all the mounds? There's like big mounds all over the place back here. Okay, this is, this is, a, this is a long enough video. I'm going to, uh, I think I'm going to just get a little fire going with one of my fire blocks. Um, I don't actually build a fire, guys. I just use, here, I'm actually going to show you. I have one right in my pocket. And I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like. It almost looks like a cube uh, of sugar. Right? And then you just light a corner and it burns for... Uh, almost 15 minutes or so, 12 or 15 minutes. And it's just to get the feeling back in my hands. Um, I usually carry multiple blocks. I'll carry three or four with me this time of year. And it's nice in the back of my mind knowing that, that I've got, that I've got something that I can f fall back onto if my hands get just too cold, you know. All right, guys. Thank you so much for clicking. I do appreciate it. Not a lot going on in this video, but I wanted to take you with me on a nice snow hike. 
I'm gonna head back this way, see if I can find that. If I do, I'll uh, maybe take a little video. All right, guys, I'll definitely see you on the next one.